Well, that's a great transition into my next question, which has to do with customer service. And sure. I think you would agree that that's a huge part of this business. So what systems have you developed to provide a great customer experience for the tenant? Well, I think that goes back to some of the systems I mentioned that we have all have some automated pieces into them. So we're, um, we have part of our core system allows us to email periodically, check-ins, reminders. Um, we have a filter, uh, filter program. So that actually filters get sent to the tenant. They're branded with our name and they get sent every t two months. Yeah, every two months to the tenant to encourage them to change. So again, we're providing them tools. We're giving them the resources they need to actually, you know, follow the contract and do what they need to do. Um, we're trying to make this whole thing like, well, kind of like you touched on, just more of an experience. But I think it goes back to it's not so much a system or a tool in place. It's the people. So it's making sure that us on the back end who's, you know, behind all of that, behind the curtain, right, Oz, um, that we're also being there for them should they need us, okay. whether it be the owner or the tenant, that we're accessible. So that's, a, I think that's a big one, right? Nobody wants, I mean, we do have a phone tree. So if you call and you don't have our extension, you're going to probably get the phone tree. That phone tree will take us to whoever you need. And the idea is that you can reach somebody. Yep. Well, not to have you give away all your secrets, but what company is that that brands filters and sends them to your tenants? It's called Second Nature. Okay. It's out of their, oh, where are they out of? They're North Carolina. Okay. Second Nature. There's nice. actually a couple, and I can tell you this comfortably. There are, one of the things I've done over the years is I've actually tried to be as friendly as I can and, and with my competitors. I think that's really important, right? There's enough business for all of us. And so um, there's several property management companies that I'm, actually friends with, we've gone out to dinner with. I mean, um, and I think that's really important because not all of us do business the same. And I said that in the beginning. Um, and some of us only concentrate in certain areas or some of us only do single family homes. None of us, you know, some don't do duplexes and some don't do townhomes. And so we each kind of have our own little niche and that makes it really easy to work with them. But there's a couple other companies that use Second Nature as well, which is great because it's we're implementing um, something that is to help our tenants and to actually help the property. In the end, this is really to help the owner maintain the property. It's preventative maintenance, which I think is really important. Yep. Yeah, I can see how that's really great. It's a, it's a point of contact with the tenant, so mm -hmm. they know you're still there. Yes. And um, branding it really ties the gift back to yourself and exactly. helps them take responsibility for this is an action that they need to take. Yeah, now. exactly. And it's in their lease, right? You, you change the furnace filters. We're now just providing that for them. Yep. Want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value.